Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today we are going to take a look at another of these 2020 Safari LTD figures that I was lucky enough to receive from Safari LTD themselves recently, giving us all here on the channel a sneak peek of what is to come. I do believe the release date for all, maybe? I'm not sure if it's just some or if it's all, but some of the figures for sure will be releasing on November 1st on their website, so definitely Keep that date in mind if you are interested in any of the new lineup from Safari LTD where you can go ahead and pick those up once they actually hit the store. But today we are going to take a look at the Pachycephalosaurus and this is one that I think many people were quite interested to see, myself included, and I can tell you that without question it is absolutely beautiful in person. A really, really nice looking Pachycephalosaurus for sure. Everything from the sculpt to the paint scheme they've gone with looks incredibly nice. And there's actually something that is really cool that you may even be able to take note to right now from this position that is on this Pachycephalosaurus that I've never seen on a Pachycephalosaurus figure before. But we'll get to that right now with a closer look. So starting up here at the head, look at how beautiful the scaling and everything is all over the head. Really nicely done sculpt work, lots of different sizes amongst the scale. And you can also see all the trademark Pachycephalosaurus bumps all over the head and face area are all really beautifully sculpted, really beautifully painted, and they have like this dark wash type of a color, maybe not even a wash, it might just be a dark paint that they put on there before they actually painted out each of the bumps, and due to that darker paint kind of hanging out behind them, giving that background, it really helps to make those bumps jump out at you so beautifully and really, really elaborate on them. And that is kind of the same thing you see throughout the entire body. You'll see that kind of spotting as the like osteoderm-like bumps, those scoots kind of run along the body. You see this kind of black outline everywhere, and I think that was a really nice choice and overall does give the figure a very striking appearance, but again, in a super, super natural looking type of a way. If you look up here, the nostrils are sculpted out really quite nicely and they are painted with a blackish color so that they are elaborated quite nicely. And just like the Dilophosaurus, you can kind of get a sense of like some gloss coat that's been put inside the nostrils, giving it a very realistic appearance as far as that goes. I really love when companies do that. It's nice to see Safari LTD doing that here with this figure. You can also see that the eyes are painted really, really nicely. There's a beautiful gloss on them. In general, I think the eyes look incredibly realistic, very alive, very, very lifelike. Exactly the type of thing you like to see when it comes to like a perfect gloss to recreate eye shine. And you can also see that there are some variations of like lighter browns and darker browns on the face area. Specifically right around in this area, it kind of lightens up a little bit, so there is some nice skin tone you can see that also here as well but the thing that i was talking about that i think is one of the coolest things ever is right here on the top of the head it's a little hard to focus on but right there you can see that there is dome damage pretty much an area where the pachycephalosaurus has damaged his dome due to the head butting that we believe pachycephalosaurus used the dome area of its head for so you can see that they did apply like a reddish type of a paint there oh man if it would just focus here right there to really insinuate that it is an open wound and it's kind of fresh. That is incredibly cool, something that I've never seen on a Pachycephalosaurus figure before and a really nice dose of reality, something that you could potentially find on a real living Pachycephalosaurus. So I really think that that was just one of the coolest touches that any company has done when it comes to a Pachycephalosaurus figure ever. As you start to lead down the neck, you can see that very nice scaling comes the whole way down. You've got kind of a little bit of hanging skin in the throat here, not too much. Also some skin folding and stuff right here on the side of the neck. Really nice coloration the whole way down. It's got this very nice light coloration here on the upper part of the body, and then it has this brown here in the middle, and then kind of a stripe of that lighter coloration that stripes into the stomach and also coats the underbelly of the dinosaur as well. And you can also see that those scoots kind of run along the body all the way down. When you get down here, you can make out the shoulder blade there a little bit protruding from the skin. Not overly done, but definitely very nice looking, very natural looking. As you come down into the arm, you can again see how nice the scale work is. You get down into the hands, beautifully sculpted hands, very nicely painted nails. Overall, really, really nice looking. I think there might be a little sloppiness when it comes to the nail paint on the hand, but nothing terrible at all beautiful scale work the whole way up the stomach and you can definitely see that it's a very well-fed pachycephalosaurus quite beefy he's had a 
pretty good area when it comes to vegetation and stuff that he's found to eat. In general, the Pachycephalosaurus, I think, really does look quite thick. Definitely a little bit of a beefy dinosaur, that's for sure. Really nice muscle tone here in the thigh area. And again, it has that same style of the scale work the entire way down. Really nice, very large bulging calf muscles. Look how beautiful the foot sculpt is. Really, really nicely done, and I love that lighter coloration that they've done. Matches the same color as the nails, which do in fact have a nice gloss on them, making them shine quite realistically. But I definitely like the coloration here that they've used on those kind of scoots that run up the foot. Really nice looking. You can also see the dew claws are back here, and they are painted. And then we come up here into the tail, and you can again see that very nice scale work that runs out the entire length of the tail. You can see maybe a little bit of the stretching of the skin there as the Pachycephalosaurus is pulling its leg, kind of stretching the skin right in that general vicinity. Really nice work the whole way out the tail. It's a very nice casual curve that runs out the length of the tail. Again, nothing unbelievable, nothing that's not natural or anything. As for the underside, it also looks really nice. You can see the cloaca there. It's uh, not very, very visible, but it's definitely there. And you can again pick up on the size of the stomach from the underbelly. Really nice sculpt work on both sides as well, but it mostly looks the same as far as the detailing goes. You can see it's just kind of uh, looking almost straightforward, but has a slight left turn, so the neck isn't really doing anything different on this side compared to what you saw on the previous side. The hands and arms are pretty much in the exact same position as it's just walking along casually, it seems. The scale work looks great over here as well, like it did on the previous side. The scoots are all really nicely painted. There doesn't really appear to be any sloppiness. And again, I really am a huge fan of the coloration of this figure. I think it looks really cool. has a very nice looking design, but it also looks really, really natural at the same time. Beautiful muscle tone here in the thigh and the calf on this side. Really nicely done as far as the foot sculpt over here. And again, those nails with that beautiful gloss shine very realistically, very naturally. And then up here in the tail, again, you can see that nice sculpt work run out the entire length of the tail. There is also kind of a dark wash, like a darker brown wash, that's been included primarily through the entire body, actually. And that also helps to bring the detail out quite nicely. I really, really like that as well. You can really pick up on that up here in the face region. So this Pachycephalosaurus is honestly beautiful. Another very impressive aspect about this figure is its size, because it is actually quite the large size figure for a Safari LTD Pachycephalosaurus significantly larger than the Dilophosaurus. So for a length, you're going to see it about eight and a quarter inches or around 21 centimeters. And for a height, you'll see it come in at about just under four inches or around 10 centimeters. For a size comparison, using the same two figures that we had used in the Dilophosaurus review, Here's the Cetacosaurus, and now next to the Cetacosaurus, if I move it back a little bit there, you can really see just how big the Pachycephalosaurus is in comparison to that Cetacosaurus. And if you can recall the Dilophosaurus review, you'll have a pretty good idea that this one is significantly larger. Honestly, really a beautifully sized Pachycephalosaurus, that's for sure. And if you don't have the Cetacosaurus, then maybe you've got the Sauropelta, and again, you can really tell just how large this Pachycephalosaurus is in comparison to their Sauropelta because the Sauropelta is kind of like a small but close to medium sized figure but the Pachycephalosaurus is quite a bit larger even than the Sauropelta. Another thing that is really nice to see with this figure as I'm sure you've probably noticed already it does not have any balancing issues it stands really really nicely balances beautifully with the tail up off the ground and everything so there is no issue at all when it comes to this balancing out. It does so quite nicely. So overall, this Safari LTD 2020 Pachycephalosaurus is absolutely beautiful and quite possibly the best Pachycephalosaurus that I have in my collection. That is a pretty incredible statement to make when I have so many versions of this species, but you can definitely see with the up-close personal look and even from back here, honestly, that it is absolutely amazing looking. Everything about this is beautifully sculpted when it comes to the detailing, the very fine detailing, beautifully painted. I don't see any sloppiness anywhere, honestly, maybe slightly in the nails, but not too much. And I really think that the paint scheme they've gone with is really cool looking, has a very flashy look, but really, really looks perfect, honestly, on this Pachycephalosaurus, especially the way they've kind of 
circled those scoots with the blackish coloration. It really helps to make them jump out at you, but also helps to the overall flashiness of the figure. And somehow it still looks incredibly natural with this paint scheme, even being kind of flashy, having a very cool looking design. It definitely looks like it belongs on a Pachycephalosaurus. The addition of that damage on the dome skull is awesome. I really, really love that. Something I'm actually kind of surprised they've never seen anybody tackle before, but I'm really glad to see it was Safari LTD that went out and made that and made this a reality on a Pachycephalosaurus because it's something that is definitely possible, something that you would potentially see with a real living Pachycephalosaurus, and I think they really achieved the overall appearance of it looking very realistic honestly perfectly everything about this pachycephalosaurus is just awesome so if you do want to buy this make sure you keep checking the safari ltd website where you can go ahead and purchase this as soon as it comes out so make sure you pick up this fantastic pachycephalosaurus but before you do that make sure you like comment subscribe hit the bell to be notified of any future videos and i will see you in the next review thanks for watching